In this screencast, I want to demonstrate two basic grammatical searches that uh, language students, syntax students, do very frequently, and those are a lemma search and a morphological search. There are, of course, other types of searches that can be done, more complex searches, but these are some of the bread and butter of what uh, students do when they approach the biblical text. So I want to show you how to do those. I want to demonstrate them both in Greek and Hebrew, and so you'll have a good foundation on which to build for further searching. The first thing that you need to do, obviously, is open up a search window. Uh, and what you'll notice is that there are several options at the top of this window that you need to choose. Uh, this section covers the six basic search types within Logos. For a lemma or a morphological search, the morph category is the one that you want to choose. I've already selected that, so that's already chosen for me. Now, these settings in blue are fairly important. They, are, they cover the resource that you're going to pick, the particular coding scheme, the, uh, the extent of the passages within the resource, uh, etc. And so let me talk them through from left to right. The very first one is the different data types within the resource. For morphological information, it'll default to all morph text. And so that's the one that you would need to use. It's going to search all of the morphologically tagged information in the resource you choose. The second item is the uh, extent of the passages within the resource that are going to be searched. Uh, for example, uh, the default is all passages, so every text within that resource will be searched. But it can also be changed to a subset, like a particular Bible book, or even an author or a collection of books. Uh, and so th that can be useful uh, further down the road, but we'll leave it at all passages for now. The third item is the particular resource that's going to be searched, and this needs to be a morphologically tagged text. For for the New Testament, it's going to be a form of the Nestle Allen text that's the, the most likely choice. Um, I'm going to pick NA28 because that's the uh, most recent version of the text uh, and that's available to us in the DTS student package. Uh, and then for the Old Testament, you'd want to pick some form of the uh, Hebrew text like Biblia Hebraica Stuttgartensia. The, um, the SESB version, the Stuttgart Electronic Study Bible version, is the one that's included in the DTS package, and so that's the one I would suggest you use for any Old Testament searches. Uh, and then the fourth option is the particular coding scheme that's usually associated with the resource that you chose in the third setting. It usually defaults to the appropriate one, and so there's rarely a need to change that. So let's search the New Testament first. To change any of these settings, what I need to do is to click this blue arrow, and then a window will open that allows me to change that particular setting. So here, for example, what I would do is search for the NA28 text. Whoops, one too many A's. And then I would pick that, and then notice that that then changes to the Nestle Allen text, and then the particular coding scheme automatically changes as well. So what this is set up to do is to look for uh, all the morphologically tagged text in all passages in the Nestle Allen text with the Lagos Greek morphology. So we're now set up to do our particular searches in Greek. Now the first thing that I want to demonstrate is a lemma search. Uh, a lemma search is essentially a concordant search for a particular Greek or Hebrew word in the particular Greek or Hebrew text. You um, access that by first typing the word lemma and then a colon. This tells the system that you want to look for all forms of a particular word. The next step is to actually enter that particular word. Now, there are different ways to do this in Logos, but I recommend that language students use Unicode. Uh, if you need help on learning how to do that, I have some other screencasts on how to type in Greek and Hebrew Unicode. I encourage you to take a look at those. But I'm going to assume for the sake of this screencast that you know how to do that. So I'm going to switch over to Greek, and I want to find the word pistis. So I'm going to start typing that. Um, with, with my keyboard. Now notice what happens. As I type, the particular options get delimited until I'm, I land on the particular word that I want. But notice that I did not type accents. Accents are actually really critical. Um, all of the searches for lemmas are accent sensitive. So the way to make sure that you have the accents included properly is to click on the particular word that shows up that you're interested in, and you'll notice that the accent is now added. And so that ensures that everything's in place for the search to be done properly. Once I have done that, once I've clicked on the particular word, I can hit return, and now the search will be uh, uh, completed. Now you'll notice that I have two columns here. The last time I did this, I had the Net Bible shown in parallel, and so that's included here. But I can change that to where no extra Bible is displayed, and now I'm viewing only the Greek text, 
or I could change it to a different version like the ESV. Whoops, I'm typing in Greek still. Let me change that. I could go to the ESV, um, or I could even add another version. I could add the New American Standard Bible. And you'll notice that now they're put in columns right next to each other. So this is a way that you can work with your search and read and compare, um, even within the search window, different versions that you've got. Okay, so that's a basic lemma search. Now let's do a morphological search. Let me actually clear the deck so that when uh, we get back to the search results, it's just the Greek text. And now let me clear my search window or search field as well. To start a morphological search, what you need to do is to hit the at sign. And notice what happens. A drop-down window occurs with all the different parts of speech. This is a dynamic window. It's going to change based upon what you choose because obviously different words within the languages have different morphological tags. So let's imagine that I want to find all aorist imperatives um, within the Greek New Testament. So that's a verb, so I'll need to start by hitting verb, and then I'll click on aorist and imperative. Now, obviously, I can choose whatever I want here. Uh, I've chosen a fairly broad search, so I'm going to get a fair number of, of um, uh, verses in return. But I could be very, very specific and narrow down exactly what I want to find. So once I've chosen the morphological categories, I simply click the blue arrow, and it will then execute the search. And then, as before, I can add particular versions if I'm interested in doing that. I can show um, more than one in parallel, uh, and that makes it easy then to process the results and do some comparisons even right in the search window. Now let's move over to, to Hebrew searching. The mechanics are exactly the same. We're going to use the same basic principles, but we simply use a different resource and different typing. So let me first change the resource that I want to search to the Hebrew text. I'm going to search for SESB because I know that the name of the Biblia Hebraica Stuttgartensia has that in it, and you can see it right here. So I'll click on that to change that. Notice that the coding scheme automatically changes to accommodate that. So now I'm ready to, to get started. Uh, let me clear this line, and now let's again go back to a lemma search by typing the word lemma with a colon. And the particular word that I want to search for is the Hebrew word chesed. So now I have to switch over to Hebrew Unicode and then type that particular word. Now again, the same thing is going to happen. As I type, the particular words are going to be delimited, and then I can find the particular one that I want. Uh, Hebrew vowel points are very critical for the meaning of the particular words. By clicking on the word in the drop-down box, the delimited options, that ensures that the Hebrew vowel points are going to be entered correctly. So I encourage you to make that part of your habit. Once you have uh, clicked on that particular word, you can hit return, and then it will execute the search. And again, as before, since the last time I did this, the ESV was the default version, or excuse me, the version I was showing in parallel. That's what's shown here. I can remove that if I wish or change it uh, to any particular version to be shown in parallel with the Hebrew text. Now let's do a morphological search. Uh, let me go up here and clear my search line. Same mechanics are going to be used. I need to type the at sign. Whoops, need to switch over back to English. Type the at sign. And then I pick the particular um, part of speech that I'm interest in, interested in. Let's look for all hifil imperatives. And so I find under the stem, hifil. And then under the tense, I find imperative. And notice all of these other grammatical options that I could choose if I wanted. Once I've chosen the ones that I want, I can hit the arrow and that will then execute the search. And again, I can add particular versions if I want to read uh, in parallel an English text or some other version that I might have on my, um, uh, on my system. Okay, that demonstrates the lemma search and the morphological search. Those, again, are going to be the most common types of searches that uh, students of the biblical text, especially the languages, will do. And so I encourage you to practice that and get used to using those um, because you'll use them very often as you're studying the biblical text.